In this video, 30 simple steps that you can take to grow your channel. However, there's a catch. Actually apply these tips? <laughs> Brian G. Johnson! Brian G here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing and to really jumpstart your channel, check out my free 40 minute YouTube masterclass. Link in the description. Step number one, focus on the fact that so many other people have made it happen and you can too. May not be easy, may take you more time than you'd like, but they did it and again, you can too. Step number two, 50 videos is all you gotta worry about early. Because you wanna give yourself time and opportunity to make it happen. Far too many YouTubers come to YouTube, they upload five videos and they give up. Listen, if you really want to succeed, 50 videos. Step number three, as you're going through the process of uploading those 50 videos, start thinking about the niche you wanna focus on. Here's why. When you focus on a particular niche, one that's really easy for other people to understand you're in, like weight loss, health, gaming, go specific. The more specific you go, the more likely you'll grow. Hey, that just rhymed. <laughs> Cool. Step four is to really leverage the power of keywords. Do this, think about the video you're gonna make and then think about the viewers you wanna get in front of. Think about what would they search to find this video I'm gonna make. Next, go to the YouTube search bar, type in those words and use one of these suggested keywords. Do that and you'll be a lot more likely to get views. Step number five is to expect the process to be challenging, to be hard. That's why most don't make it. That's why you see so many channels with five or 10 or 20 videos and they give up. It takes time, it takes determination and dedication, but if you keep moving forward, if you follow these steps, you will make it. And step number six is to really value what viewers value. Think about the topics that interest them and leverage the keywords we just covered in a previous step. Now say this with me, step number seven, I'm gonna always strive to improve my videos. Always keep that in mind and you'll be amazed at what happens. Step number eight is 50 and five. And what that means is in the next five months, strive to publish 50 videos. That's about two or three videos a week, which is absolutely ideal cadence for the YouTube algorithm. Step number nine is simple. Just remember what you want to focus on is watch time. When you're studying your YouTube analytics, watch time. Number 10, focus and value discipline. Your discipline. Your discipline to the grind of YouTube. Ain't got any time? Make it. Wake up earlier. Stop watching TV. I haven't gamed in about two months. Why? YouTube. Say it with me. YouTube, I'm gonna focus and be disciplined on YouTube. So step 11 is gonna help you drive more views and it's gonna give you goals for every time you publish. So you're gonna wanna log into YouTube Studio and then on the dashboard after you publish a video, pay attention to these metrics here. Things like average view duration as well as CTR. These are the things you wanna to strive to improve over time. CTR is how often people click and average view duration is how long they're watching your last video. And here's where it gets really good. Go ahead and click on analytics and the metrics you wanna focus on are views as well as watch time. Notice the gray area. This is the performance of your last 10 videos. The video you're looking at and studying will be represented by this blue line. So all you gotta do is strive to improve and do better than your last 10 videos. Do that and you'll be more likely to gain subscribers. Step number 12. Leverage the power of Canva, which is a free tool that will help you to create thumbnails as well as channel art. Link in the description. These are some books, you don't have to read them, but study graphic design. Great books, best-selling books, books that have cool covers, study and appreciate the graphic design. You're awesome, 
Also, a graphic design. Graphic design, records, box sets. The more you study and appreciate good graphic design, the more likely you're gonna succeed. Don't follow a bunch of small YouTubers who are not growing and study and copy and do the kind of thumbnails they do. They haven't proven themselves. Hey, this next one is really gonna help you out if you apply it. Number 16 is to do your best to try to be logical. Don't get all wrapped up and be emotional. Fascinating. Item number 17 is don't hang out with a bunch of losers. If you find a lot of the YouTubers that you frequent, that you visit, if they're complaining, the more you buy into that, the more you listen to that, the more it's gonna grow in your mind, the more challenging it's gonna be to turn that around. And I promise you, if you think YouTube is hard, it is. But it's only harder when you complain and whine. There's a lot of amazing things about YouTube. You can do it, hang out with the winners. Number 18, focus on the lens. Knowing when you do that, you're focused on the viewer's eyes. You're making contact with the viewers. And you see when you do that, it helps you create a strong connection with the viewers, those people watching. That's what you want. You wanna form a strong community and a bond with your viewers. Eye contact can make that possible. Lens for the win. Number 19, read a book on YouTube success. Like my book or Sean and Benji's book. Doesn't matter, read a book on YouTube success. You can get either one of these on amazon.com or amazon.ca or whatever Amazon you go to. Kindle, you bet. Paperback, sure thing. Number 20 is to listen to those people that have the results that you want. When you're enjoying their videos, ask yourself, how are they communicating? How are they structuring their videos? How are they making their thumbnail? How are they approaching YouTube? What are the things that they're doing? Why are they successful? Value those people who have the results you want and study them, listen to them. And step number 21, you're gonna need your phone. And what I recommend you do is download the YouTube Studio app, YouTube Studio, not YouTube, but YouTube Studio. In the app, you can check your analytics, you can upload videos, you can change thumbnails, spend five minutes a day in YouTube Studio, and it's gonna help you learn all the intricacies and analytics here on YouTube. Step number 22, learn and spend time and value the power of editing. A lot of people say a great video, a great story or a movie is born in the edit. You can take pretty okay footage and transform it in the edit. Number 23 is really simple. All you gotta do is watch TV and movies, documentaries, YouTube videos. But this is what we're gonna do. And this kind of, it's kind of fun, check it out. Think of your life as like a timeline. All the things you've done in your life and then boom! YouTube, you became a YouTube creator. Line in the sand and how you watched videos and movies before you became a creator, don't watch movies the same way. When you're watching a movie, ask yourself, how is this working? Why, why am I pulled into this story? Why am I not pulled in? What don't I like about it? How is the music, the editing? How is the storytelling? Tell yourself to pay attention to these things and you will. And you'll start to see how to craft your videos. It'll rub off on you. Easy. TV. Number 24, four. It's so easy. Speaking of movies, I want you to watch four documentaries in the next couple months. All kinds of great documentaries. And the thing I like, love about a documentary is that it's great storytelling. There's almost always great editing. There's a lot that YouTubers can learn from documentaries. Watch four. I'm curious, are you gonna do that? Let, let me know, leave a comment. If you're still watching, you got it bad, huh? <laughs> hey, this one's simple. 25, start encouraging other people. This sounds like a no win. Like, what is that gonna do for me? Simple. 
It's going to put you in a, a frame of mind where you feel grateful. You're going to start being more positive when you're encouraging to other people. You're going to start seeing the beauty around you rather than the doom and gloom. This year is kind of sucky. But you know what? It, it, it's, it could be worse for me. I'm, I'm so grateful to have what I got. And, and you're here be grateful. And it says here to start encouraging other people. Do that and you're going to be amazed at the results you generate. Number 26, another really easy one. You're going to need your phone or one of these newfangled devices. It's a camera capable of taking pictures and you should take some. And when you do, the only thing you got to focus on is composition. What that means is what's in the frame. You want to have a unique perspective to that sun rise or that picture of the moon or take a picture of a flower and you might get a bee in it that's blurred out and that is composition. Pay attention to things like white space, rule of thirds. If you don't know what they are, write it down on your list and learn. Again, you don't need fancy tools, but learn the design principles because it will apply and help you to grow here on YouTube. Item number 27 is to speak clearly. Make it really easy for people to understand what you're saying in your videos. Speak in an enthusiastic way. Be engaging with your speech. Speak really, really fast if you want people to pay attention, but slow it down to create that dramatic moment. When you focus on your speech, you're focused on the very thing that is so important to growth. That's your delivery on camera. That's your delivery in your voiceover. Number 28 is to study successful thumbnail design. How do you do that? It's easy. If the video has 500,000 views and you think the thumbnail looks pretty good, it's pretty good. It's a successful thumbnail design and remember that. Think about why it worked. Think about what the thumbnail did to win the click. You never get a view until somebody clicks on your video. Thumbnail design is part of the recipe to make that happen. Number 29 only applies if you'd like to get more positivity in your comment section. If you'd like to read more glowing reviews of the videos you publish, on your channel, then start leaving some of those kind of comments on other people's channels. And here's why. When you do that, you, just do it for three to six months, just a, one or two comments a day and see what happens over time. You're going to be amazed. And item number 30 is to value an end screen click. What this means is when you upload a video to YouTube, you have the opportunity to add an end screen. And what that is, is another video on your channel or the subscribe button. I would really encourage you to only add videos from your channel to your end screen. And then I want you to value the metric, the amount of people clicking. Here's why. When you get people to the end of your video and then they click on your thumbnail or your end screen, that sends a huge signal to the YouTube algorithm that one, the viewer was interested in your video. YouTube can kind of determine that because they clicked. And furthermore, not only did they watch the entire video, the entire video, that very rarely happens, but then they clicked on your end screen. That is really uh, a metric that measures satisfaction. You want to get more viewers satisfied with your videos. And here's what's interesting. This video on the screen now, it's got an end screen click rate of over 20% and the amount of views is through the roof. I think I'm so, like 400,000 click and watch that video, you dig?